Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Greenline Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and we have a really big week coming up. We have Mercury going into retrograde and we also have a really magical and visionary full moon happening in the sign of Pisces on the 11th. So give or take a day depending on where, where you are in the world. My goodness, I've just knocked everything off. Let's see. Okay, uh, right. Let's... Let's get a card for you, Taurus. My goodness, everything's a little bit erratic at the moment. We need uh, a sense to let it go, said, says Kuan Yin. Yoga. So this would be really great to do some body work, some exercise work, just connect in with your body. If you're into yoga, great time to do yoga, but it's really about finding that mind-body connection. If there's something that's been really bothering you or stressing you or worrying you, it's kind of saying, let, let it go, uh, connect into that mind, body and spirit energy. And, and uh, there may be some aches and pains, some little um, niggles in your body. I really feel like you're going to feel this in your body, Taurus. And so it's just about moving and, and loosening that tension uh, to kind of let some energy flow through you. So it's wanting really the energy to flow, which is really lovely. And we've got, yes, yeah, speaking of which, drink more water. So drink more water quite literally could mean drinking more water it can be hydration, but it can also be just this sense of letting things flow, letting the energy flow through your body, almost like detoxifying. So yeah, that's kind of, I feel like it's it's very much a sensory thing that you're going to be feeling, but it's about, uh, yeah, because there's some nice energy wanting to come in. That's the thing with this. So but yeah, it's very much connecting into your body and letting go of any kind of old energies or stress or anything that you don't need anymore. So let's see. My goodness, why is all, all these cards are just coming out for you, Taurus? Okay. Seven of Feathers, preparation, resourcefulness. I kind of get just put the plans to the side for the moment. You don't need to be doing anything. It's about just connecting in. It, the plan can still be there, but especially with this full moon energy, they're saying it's about just sitting with an energy, being open and getting inspired to a vision for the future. Let this unfold, which is really nice. So put the plans to the side for the moment. The shadow, self-empowerment and ambition and the queen of acorns, passion and creativity, because there's more to this vision that's wanting to come in at this moment in time. It's becoming fuller. So it's got, it's more adding more to the picture at this moment in time so it's like you can't they're saying they don't want you to make plans or to be working too much on the plans until it's fully formed this what's going on inside you in terms of a vision for the future a vision of what you want something to be looking like at this moment in your life so yeah I feel like there's more ambition to come through there's more passion and creativity that's coming through it's a really empowering energy which is really lovely Speaking of which, I can see a little putty coming in. We've got Mr. Starman coming through for you. Okay, so we've also got the magician, willpower, creation, and the emperor, focus and stability. Wow. Okay, so you really owning this, Taurus? This is kind of your thing that you're, uh, I just get it's like this magical vision here that you're uh, bringing into reality, but it is, you are the magician. You're working your magic at this moment in time. There's, like I said, it's a magical full moon. It's a beautiful energy. And so give it space to, to come into creation, to manifest, which is really fantastic. And then you're in charge of it, large and in charge, you're the emperor. So <laughs> fantastic focus and stability. They're saying, hold the space, hold the space, create a, a place for this to emerge and grow, which is really lovely. So let's see what's shifting and changing over this week, what energy is moving on. And that's why it's kind of saying we're wanting you to kind of let go and let go of old stuck energy and open to the flow, the flow of the universe, the flow of what's coming in at this moment in time. It's time to kind of reap a harvest of sorts because of um, culmination of a whole heap of old energies, plus also old cycles, plus, you know, you've put in the work. You've, the, the universe has asked a lot of you guys, Taurus, especially with all the changes and disruptions that are coming through. And this is a time where you can go kind of put that to the side, just reap the harvest, connect into this lovely intuition that's coming through with this moon and just let yourself sit with this energy, which is really nice. So let's see what's shifting and changing. The cards are kind of being... Um, <laughs> Yeah, a bit different the way they're coming up, but that one's like trying to um, prove me wrong. Okay, Cup King, Scorpio, Crown. 
Fantastic. So what's shifting and changing is this Scorpio energy, which is a really, it's an intensity, actually. It's very intense energy. It's where you can hold on to emotions. And it's also a card of managing, management, just being the manager of your life. Yes, you are kind of claiming this vision. This is yours. This is yours to own and claim, but you don't have to do anything with it just yet. So this card of Scorpio, which is very good at managing money, managing emotions, managing other people, managing things in your life, just kind of you can let that go. It can be a very intense connection or intense energy with somebody. It could quite literally be a Scorpio or a water sign or a manager around. There may be like this sense of uh, uh, something shifting in them or your relationship with them is shifting or the situation is shifting around them. But I feel mostly it's just kind of take a break, take a rest, kind of. It, that's kind of what I'm feeling with this Taurus. You've had a lot on your plate the plate will still be there, but for the moment they want you to have, <laughs> just enjoy uh, some of the blessings that are coming in for this week. So let's see, what message does Taurus need to ha to hear? I kind of feel like this one's coming in. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. Interesting. So I feel like this is very connected to a person in your life that you've had a pretty intense connection with, and it's Interesting this this full moon coming in Pisces because I feel like we're going to feel this effect all week and really it creates this sense of oneness as well, not separation, oneness. And so it really gives this sense of being able to understand or be more sensitive to other people's needs. Sometimes you can kind of get lost in that, you know, what's mine, what's yours. But you might be really feeling something or understanding or seeing what's going on with somebody else through their, the lens of, uh, you know, looking through their eyes. So I also feel like this is for you, <laughs> okay? It's I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Fantastic. So like I said, I feel like a few things are being put on pause while you're open to these like intuitive downloads from the universe and to trust that things are forming and, yeah, trust that you're being guided and that if there is somebody that's needing your help, you're going to be guided to them. And I feel like there's a greater sense of understanding of what's going on with them at this moment in time. So, but I feel like this trust you've been guided is kind of a bigger energy of, of just a general direction as well. It, it feels like it's, yeah, a future vision or future focus or future path is starting to unfold at least. The exact next steps may not necessarily be clear, but uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see what's coming in for you that you may or may not know. We've got the nine of wands. This is where you just potentially could just be feeling tired. You know, sometimes when you just rest and it's like you don't have to do, you stop doing or stop worrying or stop uh, just all the things that you need to do and suddenly you kind of get hit by this tiredness. This is kind of what I'm feeling, but it's a good tide as in like I just need a big rest. I really need a big renewal, deep renewal, good night's sleep, just need a rest. The nine of ones is also where, you know, you've overcome a lot of challenges. It's the wounded warrior. It's, um, yeah, needing a big, like I said, a big rest, but it can mean that you're closer than you think to a destination, as closer than you think to something that may feel slightly out of reach or, you know, put in a lot of time and effort. It's the harvest and reaping that harvest is closer than you think. So consequences of that, yeah, the seven of pentacles, this is growth coming in. Take a big rest. Have a think about some things. There's new seeds to be planted. There's the seven of pentacles, maybe a time of contemplation. Where to next? Where is the next place you want to head? Maybe there's a there's an adjustment of that direction, but this is really just about contemplating and thinking about where you can see the growth in your life at this moment. It's very Taurian energy. So I think it's just, yeah, like I said, it's it's less about doing, more about being open to receive, very divine feminine energy coming through. So let's see, we'll pull a card from the fairies and see. Oh, I'm dropping everything today, Taurus. What is going on? Everything's kind of, energy's um, <laughs> just all over the shop. Okay, oh, we love it. Spirit Dancer, this is Let Your Spirit Be Free. 
absolutely do something or not do something. It's the undoing. It's the not doing that allows your spirit to be free. (laughs) So that's what's coming in with this spirit dancer, which is really beautiful. So let's see what else I can drop off the table. this moment in time so let's see what is coming in blessings for the week okay oh blessings for oh i love it okay the empress is coming in time to reap the harvest absolutely beautiful this is uh, the empress is ruled is represented by venus your planetary ruler so the empress loves taurus so the empress wants to bring in some really really good stuff it's like Just enjoy this space that the universe is giving you. It's connecting to pleasure, abundance, but yeah, it's reaping some rewards, which is really fantastic, which is beautiful with the Empress coming through. What an amazing blessing, really amazing blessing to come through with the Empress. Wow. Love it. She rules love. She rules money. She just rules some really like, again, this is why we kind of was getting like connecting to the sensuality of your body because it's a very Venetian energy to kind of just be very, uh, and a very, yeah, it, it's kind of, she's wanting you to connect to that uh, pleasure, to pleasure, just enjoyment. And so to let your body relax a little bit and just try and and connect into that to the things that bring you joy and pleasure which is really nice with the empress but i feel like on a bigger level this is like you know big cycles are culminating with this full moon and that it's time to reap the harvest of some some you know the the work that you've put in over those cycles so and i feel like it's not just this month like in terms of the lunar cycle i feel like there's bigger cycles we've been talking around even like yearly cycles so Yeah, some big stuff coming through with this. So where to next? Where to next? I feel like you could be a little bit discombobulated, which is kind of what this reading's been like, like a little bit, like it's slightly unfocused in a way, like things are falling off and, but we're still, you know, we're just moving forward with it and what comes in, comes in. And it just feels a little bit like your energy's in a slightly different place because the universe has taken you out of your normal MO and just gone, right, we want you to be in this space, the relaxed, um, magical, dreamy space of the the full moon. So, and that could kind of, yeah, um, disrupt your energy a little bit in that you might be a little bit klutzy or clumsy, not in a bad way or just because you're just in a different energy, yeah, frequency or space. So it's just about uh, readjusting to a new a new space. So let's see, where to next? Where to next for Taurus? Let's see what's coming in for Taurus. Where to next? So I feel like this is going to be really good for your adrenals as well. Page of Pentacles. Okay. This seed that you've been thinking about here, (laughs) thinking about, okay, what's next? What seeds do I want to plant next? Here you are. You've got it. You've come up with the idea, you've got this seed in your hand and you're like, right, I know which what the next step is going to be, where I want to plant this seed, what it is, and getting kind of excited about it. You know, just there's a lot of things, new things around this to discover and it's just a really nice, new, fresh, enthusiastic energy. It comes with a bout of positivity and enthusiasm, which is really lovely. So I'm going to finish it off with an affirmation card for you, Taurus. Then I'm going to pick up all the things that I've dropped (laughs) at the end of this reading. Okay, what do we have? I love this. My work is deeply fulfilling. Now, when I get this, it's not, it can relate to your work and career quite literally, but I kind of just get this as the deeper work. This is your work, your sole purpose, just who you are in this world. So it's kind of finding when we say the work, you could kind of say the work is just your life in general. So it says, today I'll give my best to that which I do, knowing that when one experience is complete, I'm led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. And that's exactly what it is. It's a culmination energy and experiences something's completing and then you're being led to something new and fulfilling. This new seed is sitting opposite, I mean, no, sitting next to, not opposite. The Empress, it's coming alongside with this sense of this is a really fertile time to plant this seed. So, wow, beautiful, reaping the benefits of that. So, yeah, that's it, Taurus. That's your weekly reading. Enjoy the week and love to hear how this is resonating. So please leave a comment and please leave a like. That helps with the growth of the channel as well and helps support the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share if you think this will help somebody. And take care, Taurus.